This is Nancy Danino. We're backstage at the Toronto Pro Super Show. We've just wrapped up the figure pro finals. And four for four, we've got Jenny from the block back again. Jennifer Strobo, congratulations. That is a record. You're like owning this show. <laughs> I love this show. I loved it from the moment they started it back in 2011. Right. And I've wanted to come every year. I only missed one year, and it seems to be um, a little lucky thing for me. It's like a good luck charm. Four for four, that's incredible. Uh, not to mention, this is now your eighth pro win. You just returned from Puerto Rico. Uh, I still can't, uh, you know, we, we talked about this earlier, how hard it is to turn around and travel and diet week after week and still win. Um, to do the back-to-back, -back, it was a little bit hard. Um, I've done them before, and I, it's, it's good in a few ways because you stay on your game, you, you, know, you do that. But Puerto Rico was an amazing experience, first ever Puerto Rico Pro, and to win there, the show was on Sunday actually, so it's actually only five and a half, six days ago, and um, then to just get on it, I think I had a little bit, 150 percent, you know, fire going on to come here because everybody was like, "There's no way you can do it. There's no way you can do it." And I wanted to prove everyone wrong, and I did it. You did it all right. I'm telling you, you're true inspiration. You're a mother of two. You work full time, and you travel and diet. So how do you? Balance the balancing act. It is hard sometimes, but you know, it's if you want to do something bad enough, you're going to find time to do it. And I still find time. You know, I flew to Vegas the week before Puerto Rico to do a family and friends, you know, to go to the fights and see, you know, a friend of mine fight with, you know, and just go out there and hang out with Aaron and some friends of ours. And then, you know, you come back, you've got prom going on with the kids and, you know, you got to find shoes and jewelry and do all that. And you just find time. You're eating out of your purse and you just make sure if you want to do something, you're going to find a way to do it and you just make it work. Yeah, it's, it's all in your head, right? You make it happen. Now you're heading to the Olympia once again. How do you break? You? You're always rounding out that top six all the time. Six at the Ar sixth place at the Arnold, six at the Olympia. How do we get into the top three? I'm going to do everything I can to just keep improving me. I feel like this sport is always just you versus you. And so it's, you know, mind over matter. You've got to push your body to its limits and just keep your mind focused on what you want to do as your goals. And then whatever happens, happens when you get there. And we'll just see if, see if that works. I'm just going to try to be, be better than I was, you know, each time. And you are every year. Like, you really are truly an inspiration. I have to uh, bow down because, like I said, for you to do this year after year and travel, it's um, – I, I hear the other girls talk, and they're like, how does she do it, right? But So congratulations again. Of course, I'm sure there's many thanks from that team of people that are always standing behind you behind the ears. I – I'm going to miss somebody, and I'm so sorry. Um, as always, Bombshell Fitness, I've been with Bombshell from day one. Shannon Day um, has coached and guided me from the moment that I began in this sport. Couldn't have been anywhere without without her or without the team, just the whole group of sisters and everyone that supports you and just pushes you. You know, um, I'm a team FMG athlete, so J.M. Mannion, Debbie Mannion, always helping us with you know the girls and pushing us to be better You know, every time as well. Uh, team GNC. Eat to Grow, always providing some great food for me. And just everyone out there, all my fans, my family, my kids, always you know, just putting up with me, dragging jugs of water everywhere and coolers everywhere. I never leave home without it. And um, everyone that helped me, you know, makeup, hair, there, it takes. It's a whole team. It, it is. It's a team to get on stage at a show. But then it's, you know, those of you in the gym that just, you know, say, hey, you look great or you're doing good. And I saw this, you know, and that was awesome that you did that and that you inspire them. It inspires me to keep going. Well, that was well said. You're humble in the heart. So congratulations. Hopefully you can relax a little bit for the next few months. So it's 15 weeks, I think, as of yesterday to the Olympia. 15 weeks we've got. I know no one's counting, right? But uh, I am shutting it down until then. Um, you know, everybody's like, oh, now you have a time to break, you know, and take time to take a breather. But this is when you make your improvements in your body. So, I'll yes, I'll take, you know, a few days off to just kind of let my body relax. Take, you know, a week just to let my, my body recover, regroup, and then go after it. And one last promise, promise is that we hope to see you back next year. 2016, you never know what could happen. And you better bring JM with you one of these times. Did you hear that, JM? He should have been here this time. They're filming Batman out in the streets, his favorite thing. But he's missing it, so we'll have to get him here next year. Thank you so much. Congratulations again, and we look forward to seeing you at the Olympia. This is Nancy Danino signing off.